Hey, what's up everyone? Kevin here at Madden Gaming, and today we're going to be opening up the Elite Trainer Box Plus from Sword and Shield. Uh, this is the Zashian version. Uh, if you guys watched Flippin' Friday just a couple days ago, I did open up the Zamazenta version. I actually gave away the promo and some of the uh, cool stuff inside, as well as some pretty cool cards. So, that was awesome. But today, we're going to check out the uh, Zashian version. And uh, in the thumbnail, you've probably seen this without the plastic on it here because it's causing a really bad glare. So, I actually can't take the thumbnail image because... It's just not working out for me, so I'm going to do it after I open the box up, because it's going to be easier. Anyway, let's go ahead and bring it down here, and uh, as you guys can see how bad the glare is, you can see myself right there, hello, and the Pikachu and all of the other stuff, because the glare is terrible. Now, let's go ahead and get this thing open and check out all the stuff inside. So, just like the last one, we're going to get uh, the promo featuring the Pokemon on the front here, which is Zashi, in this case, the other box was Zamazenta. And these things are right around 60 to $70, depending on where you get them. I think I paid 60 a piece for these. So, and, but you get a lot of stuff inside. I mean, you get 12 booster packs, you get the metal dice coins, all that stuff. So it is cool. And the a golden promo, which is worth right around 20, 25, I think. So, I mean, you get your money back. And you get the beautiful case. I mean, look, they, they look amazing. Now, let me just get it open and toss all this extra stuff on the floor because we all know what's in one of these, right? You get the, the, the booklet and the dividers and all that good stuff. And you get your awesome sleeves with the golden Pokeball. And, oh my, look how bad this promo is. It's destroyed. I've never had one come this bad. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, the centering looked great on it, too. Wow. But, uh, I mean... That's rough. That's really rough. That's that's kind of disheartening. Anyway, we've got the uh, promo code for anybody out there trying to get that online. Our metal dice, like I said. Let me zoom in so you guys can get a better look at them. Uh, these metal dice are awesome. I really like these. <clears throat> and they are very heavy, so they're not going to be sliding around on you if you're, if you're using those. And the dice. Now, you do have to watch using these if you're actually playing the game and you try to roll these or throw these because they will damage your cards. But I mean, if you're playing your cards anyway, you're probably not worried about the damage, so there's that. Anyway, here's our 12 packs. We should have three of each set, three Vivid Voltage, three Darkness Ablaze, three Ribble Clash, and three Sword and Shield. And we are going to do them in the backwards order. We're gonna open them up in the order they were released. Uh, just because that's an idea that just came to me. So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, get into our first pack of the day, which is gonna be Sword and Shield, and hopefully we can get some good pulls today. Some first pack magic here. Just toss that pack over there, and your code. All right, one, two, three, four to the front for our first pack magic, everybody. We got a Grass Energy. Let me just fix our focus so we don't lose it here. Pop, Poke Gear 3.0, Sudowoodo, Blitzbug, Rhyhorn, Mincino, Chinchow, Crow Gunk. Quick Ball Reverse Holographic, and an Oranguru Holographic Rare. Let me just throw a sleeve on these cards right here so I don't uh, scratch them all up. And we'll move on to pack number two. Maybe we can get a V card this time around. We just got a Hollow Rare that time. I mean, at least it was a Hollow Rare. Good pack. So, not a bad first pack, I guess. Wow, this card's got some damage on it too. What's going on? I mean, these are old packs. This was uh, this is a Sword and Shield base set, so uh, these were probably printed a little while ago. Dottler, Galarian Stunfisk, Rabu, Krabby, Kufant, Ball Toy, Salandit, Ponyta, Energy Retrieval, and a Durant or Durant, sorry, non holographic. And excuse the uh, my eyes are probably a little red and stuff. I got the allergies right now are crazy. It's uh, that time of the year. Trees are blooming. I cut the grass. So, it's, it's what it is. Alright, let's go to our last sword and shield pack here. Got a nice little scruppy in here. One, two, three, four. And you see a lot of the scruppies if you're playing the new Pokemon Snap on the little desert area. Lots of scruppies. Alright, we got Dottler, Galarian Stunfisk, Red Boot. I feel like we already opened this pack. Scruppy, Clubopus. Wooloo, Sobble, Pincurchin, Sudowoodo, Reverse Holographic, and a Cramorant Non-Holographic Rare. So, uh, 
two dud packs there. At least we did get one hollow rare from Sword and Shield. But uh, let's go ahead and move on now to our Rebel Clash set. Which was the second released Sword and Shield set. That's another thing I like about these um, premium Elite Trainer boxes. They kind of bounce all over and give you sets from all the releases. That way, you never know what you're going to get. One, two, three, four. All right, and let's hope we get a good pull out of this one. We got some... What is that? I don't know. It's got a sparkly, glittery looking thing on there. Burning Scarf. Olena. Luxio. Galarian Mr. Mime. Snover. P-Dove. Galarian Darumaka, Hatina, Surskit Reverse Holographic, and a Galarian Weezing. So we are pulling some Hollow Rares. We have pulled no Vs yet, though. Hopefully we can get something nice here pretty soon. Uh, Rebel Clash pack number two. I think the last one I opened up on Friday was pretty good. I gave away uh, a V Max. I pulled a V Max. And I believe I pulled um, an Ultra Rare. So, the last one wasn't too bad. Let's hope this one can turn it around for us. So far, it hasn't been great. We've got a Shuckle, a Luxio, Durant, Natu, Trubbish, P-Dove, a Helioptile, Voltorb, Tool Scrapper, Reverse Holographic, and a Scizor Non-Holographic Rare. So, uh, Rebel Clash has not been so great so far. We've got uh, no pulls from Rebel Clash yet. Just the two Reverse Hollows. And this is going to be our last Rebel Clash pack right here. And the code. One, two, three, four. I haven't played the game online for a long time. Hope you guys are using these codes because uh, as soon as I finish this video, I toss them right in the trash. All right, we got a Lombre. Halucha. Ndidi. Applin. Hatina. Ericuda. Galarian Meowth, Surskit, Trevenant Reverse Holographic Rare, not too bad, and Alchemy Non-Holographic Rare. Get this, I just, seen, I just noticed there's a sleeve standing up right there. Grab that one, and it's upside down. Well, out of Rebel Clash, we did get one Reverse Holographic Rare. Nothing too good out of that set. Alright, on to Darkness Ablaze. My Darkness Ablaze luck is terrible, so I'm expecting... Just some reverse hollows out of this set. But, I mean, you never know. Oh, there's a green code card. Look at that. Like I said, Darkness of Blaze. And the code cards are apparently backwards. All right. Fire Energy. Powerful Energy. Piers. Gotharita. Purloin. Feebas. Golet. Larvitar. Paris. Toxtricity Reverse Hollow. Okay, not too bad. And Galarian Surfetched. Or Negaganaito. Alright, so, Reverse Hollow Rare, I'll take it. Not terrible, I guess. Move on to Darkness Blaze pack number two. Still pulled no V cards yet, though. And there is your code. Alright, one, two, three, four. Hiding Darkness Energy. Fletchender. Pokemon Breeder Nurturing. Vanillite. Bunnelby. Passimian. Dino, Dino, whatever you want to call that one. Electric, Shinotic Reverse Holographic, very nice. And a Lugia, non-holographic rare. And I just now remember, because of the shine of this thing, when I first pulled it out, it looked kind of fakish because of the way the light was hitting it from my angle. It doesn't look fake at all. It looks real, just from the initial light there. I forgot that I bought some more fake bootleg Pokemon cards at the uh, local flea market the other day. Um, I just bought some more because these ones are different. They're actually... Decent looking fakes that you can pass off as real cards. So I went ahead and bought some so I can show you guys, but I forgot to do the video on it. So that will probably be on Wednesday. The only thing I don't like about those is when I'm at the sale and I'm looking around and I see these things, they are absolutely everywhere. And I've seen other little kids buying them, and they're not going to know the difference. So, I mean, they're, they're finding Pokemon cards, they're getting stuff to open, but they're probably not going to know they're fake which kind of sucks because they're going to think they're real and want to trade them one day or sell them or they're going to keep them because they think they're valuable and they're not. So that, that's kind of, it kind of disheartens me when I see that, but nothing I can do about it. Those things are everywhere. Like literally almost every other stand out of this whole place had fake Pokemon cards, boxes full of them. Anyway, we got a Soul Rock, Poltegeist, Vanillish, Marini, Meltan, Carablast, Sinistee, oh, two cards there, 
Toxel, Team Yellow Horn, and a Toxtricity Holographic Rare to go with our Reverse Holographic Rare. Okay, so um, we are still no V cards out of, what did I pull so far? Nine packs? Open nine packs already, and we've got no Vs, uh, no V Maxes, no, nothing crazy. All right, so on to Vivid Voltage. Hopefully, this these last three packs here can turn it around for us. Otherwise, this box was um, a bit of a, a bust. I mean, we did get the golden promo, but its value was dropped by... I don't... I don't know. It doesn't really look damaged. You can't see a crease on it, so it didn't fold all the way. But it, it's definitely bent, and there is a slight mark on the side, so... I don't know. Its value probably dropped 15 20%, I would say. Not a full drop, because there's no actual crease. And it could be straightened out if I put something on it for a little while. But it still sucks that it got bent. All right, we got Grass Energy, Kakuna, Cramorant, Sir Chester Bat, Rock Ruff, Blitzel, Skiddo, Pharaoh Seed, Dedene, Pincurchin Reverse Holographic, and a Zapdos Holographic Rare. So, still nothing crazy yet. The Zapdos is pretty cool, though. I mean, I like Zapdos. All right, on to the next pack. It feels really weird on the back. It's... Not, uh, it's sealed good, but the pack was all folded weird. Alright. If I can get the cards out. There we go. We've got a dust call. Alright. Day Watt. Heroes Metal. Hitmontop. Dust Call. Voltorb. Weedle. Drillbur. Clefairy. Kramer Antverse Holographic. And. A Vaporeon non-holographic rare. I don't think we're going to pull anything good today, everybody. You probably didn't hear that little ding once today. Because none of these cards were really valuable. And nothing good. So, it's down to our last pack to see if we can pull anything. It had a white code card. I did manage to see that much. Ruined that surprise for myself. So, there's that. One, two, three, four. Hopefully, it's a really good one. Because this box has not been that great. Hasn't been great at all, actually. Even the promo was bad. Alright, we got Rocky Helmet, Alistair, Matang, Sandile, Oshawott, Pineco, Clefairy, Tynamo, Moo Moo Cheese, and a Magirna a Holographic Rare. So this box was absolutely terrible. I'm going to put a sleeve on these two cards right here. And then... That's it. We don't even have any uh, good pulls to go over because there were no good pulls. All 12 packs had nothing but hollow, reverse hollows and a couple hollow rares. And we even got the bad promo. So, um, kind of sucks. That box was not very good at all. But at least I took it off the shelf. So, somebody got a better box probably because I took the bad one. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed that video even though there was no good cards. And like I said, I will see you guys on Wednesday for what is most likely going to be some uh, fake Pokemon cards, bootleg Pokemon cards. Uh, they're interesting. These ones look sort of real. They are a little faded, but they have the actual Pokemon back. And instead of saying Pocket Monsters, they do say Pokemon. So they are real fakes. So we will take a look at that on Wednesday. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys uh, on Wednesday. See ya.